have a little bit review about skill number one until skill number three. Skill number one is For example, you can see the example. The man said, was the concert well received? Next, the woman said, the audience applaud, applauded for a long time after the performance. Next, narrator said, what does the woman say about the concert? What does the woman say about the concert? Okay. You can read the, the answer, um, the answer choices. A, the performance went on for a long time. B, there are applause throughout the performance. C, the people clapped on and on after the concert. Or D, the audience waited for a long time for the concert to begin. So, which one is the best answer? Based on the second speaker or the second uh, person who, who, who's, who speak in a dialogue. So, the, okay, the second or the woman said, the audience applauded for a long time after the performance. Applauded, applauded, applauded means that it have the similarity with the with clapped and then for a long time after the performance for a long times it has similarity or the synonym is on and on after the concert or after the performance which one is the best answer the best answer for the question is c the people clapped on and on after the concert Okay, so knowing synonym is important in skill, in, in listening, especially in, especially in listening tasks, total listening tasks. Next, we go to the next one. Skill number three is avoid similar sound. Avoid. Well, often times the, ta the task taker of uh, the TOEFL test, many test takers choose uh, based on what they hear only. So when they listen to the dialogue or the short conversation about one, a certain verb or certain words, and they will try to search and choose the, the answer uh, um, based on what they hear only, based on the similarity on the words well actually in the in the skill number three what you need to do what you need to choose what you need to do is avoiding or avoid similar sound similar sound sim similar sound of what you have heard to the dialogue the short conversation and the the answer choices Next, this is the example. The woman said, did they get the new car they wanted? And the man said, no, they lacked of money. No, they lacked of money, the man said. And then the narrator, the narrator said, what does the man mean? Still a second speaker or a second, second person in the dialogue who become the focus of the question. What does the man the man mean? And then A, they lock the map in the car. B, they looked many times in the car. C, it cost a lot of money when the car leaked oil. And D, they didn't have enough money to buy another car. Okay. Which one is which one are the are the words that are similar 
toward the dialogue. Look at A. They locked the map in the car. Lock. It, it, it has a similarity or a similar sound or at, at least it's almost the same with the sound of lacked. Like the money. And in, in A, they lock the map. Lock or and like it's quite similar, and then they lock many times in the car. Lock, uh, sorry, uh, they 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 looked many times in the car. So look and like it's a bit similar, and also car. The word car there is also in the first in the first speaker statement. So B, it's also mm, similar. You know what? Some words are similar with the sound you hear. And then C, it cost a lot of money when the car leaked oil. So lacked the money in the dialogue, it's almost the same with the leaked oil. And the word car is there, there is inside of the in the C answer choices, which is car leaked oil. It's quite similar with the dialogue. And D, D, they didn't have enough money to buy another car. They didn't have enough money. Lacked, it lacked the money. It has similarity actually with uh, uh, didn't have enough money to buy another car. So the best answer of the question is D, they didn't have enough money to buy another car. Because of what? Because of the second speaker said, no, they lacked the money. Yep. Is that helping? That we have to avoid similar sound between the dialogue you hear and match it up with the answer choices. So when it's mostly, you know what, a similar like what you hear and also the answer choices, it, 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 is, it is a big possibility that the answer is wrong, okay? So avoid similar sound. That was all about skills number one until skills number three. And let's have a little bit review about skill number one until skill number three. Skill number one is focus on the second line or focus on the second person in the dialogue because of what because of the question will be will be uh, directed to the second speaker in the dialogue so we will focus on the second people second person in the dialogue so to search the answer of the question and skill number two is uh, choose answer with synonym this is the role of your vocabulary about synonym, it will be very helpful to answer the question. So, uh, for example, home and house, and then uh, woman and girl or female, maybe. So uh, the sim the the answer will be, or or the, the answer usually is in the similarity between or simi or synonym between the answer choices and also the dialogue you hear. And the third one is about avoid similar sound. Again, many people or test taker who, who take um, uh, total tests in listening part especially, they usually choose the, what, what is that? They choose the answer based on what they hear similar sound but actually in skill in answering the total task in listening section part a actually the skill number three avoid similar sound so you need it means that you need to avoid the answer which are uh, similar with what we you hear with the in the dialogue or in the short conversation all right so well i think i think that's all in this section mm, skill one until skill three and previously you will know that there will be 17 skills i hope that you can get the points 
or the strategies to answer the TOEFL test and so that you can choose the best answer of the question. Well, I think that's all. And remember that you need to have 34 correct answers for, uh, uh, for, for you to get 530 uh, score conversion. And in part A, it will contribute 30, maximum, maximum 30 correct answers. So I think that's all again. I, I think that's all uh, of the session and we will meet again in the next session talking about the next skills and the next example too. Then that's all. Thank you for your attention and see you in, in the next session. Selanjutnya, kita saksikan video Profil Universitas Tenokrat Indonesia. Lampung, the treasures of Sumatra, is a province that becomes the gateway to the Sumatra island. Lampung has two municipalities and 13 districts, consisting of 234 sub-districts. The province with an area of 35,587 km squares owns millions of extraordinary natural beauty. Education in Lampung province is also highly considered and colored by the existence of Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia. Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia has three faculties and 12 study programs. Faculty of Engineering and Computer Sciences with the six study programs. Electrical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Engineering, Information Technology, Informatics, and Information System. Faculty of Economics and Business with two study programs, Management and Accounting. Faculty of Arts and Education with four study programs English Literature, Mathematics Education, English Education, and Physical Education Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia believes that education is the key to the advancements of a nation Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia commits to produce and develop future leaders through the education of quality characters this receives a very good reception and trust from the community which is marked by an increasing interest in students from year to year. The students and lecturers have lots of achievements and awards. Also, our quality is recognized by National Accreditation Board for Higher Education and many international collaborations. Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia also prepares the students to face the globalization era through the use of digital technology. Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia has a number of representative facilities provided to support the learning process, such as comfortable classroom, laboratories, information technology, and the internet. Our vision is to be an excellent university in Sumatra with international standard and able to play an active role in nation building through three pillars of higher education comprising education, research, and community service. We have graduated outstanding students who can be accepted in state agencies and other large companies. At Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia, the students and lecturers are encouraged to create and innovate by creating products and services that benefit the community through research activities and community services. In an effort to achieve its visions and missions, the academics of Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia are guided by the organizational culture values of discipline, quality, creative, and innovative. To support the quality of learning processes, we have very complete and sophisticated facilities including digital-based smart classroom, hotspot in campus area, sport facilities, 
auditorium and students hall. Come and be a part of us, the Campus of Champion, Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia. video pembelajaran ini jangan lupa like comment dan subscribe serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya